Hello guys, today in this video I would like to explain you how to download the tourist trails from Mapi.to map platform which became popular we can use for the environment, especially uh, we can use mountaineers, hikers and so on. So uh, first of all we need to toggle to the outdoor map and uh, zoom in until we start to see the trail routes as you can see here i'm watching at some blue trail which i'm going to extract uh, for you and then uh, launch it in pdf we've got several mountain trails uh, here but i will take care only about this blue one which starts near the Amelie Castle and it finishes a bit further, about uh, 70 kilometers later. So it's quite a long route. And now this is a good option to <coughs> digitize this route thanks to any GIS software which in my case will be Phantom GIS. So let's move on then. First of all, what we need to do, we need to toggle in our right bar to the directions and we've got a few options to calculate our route. So instead of calculation by car, we need to set calculation by foot. And in this case, just press the place on the map where we want to get our calculation started. So this is already done here. And obviously we need to define our termination place, which will be exactly here, where this blue trail terminates. And as you can see, <coughs> we have some initial route calculation done by this um, brilliant map platform. So what next what is to does this calculation our exact trail in places where the calculation varies to add some trigger points in order to get to our like you can see here. Let me do another point here. And if you will carry on with adding the points, make sure that you are going from the start to the finish or another way around. So if my start point is already at the top and I'm going from the finish to the start like this, I need to make the pluses just beneath the start point, as you can see here. So here will be another point. So let me carry on with other sections. Here it looks uh, fine. As we are going further, the calculation hits our trail until this place here. Let's move on then. And we are almost there. Now, the very last point is here. Okay, at this moment, it looks like we might have 
of course, talking to this blue line here, is not continuous. So the two kind of calculate this way, but go this way instead. So this small this work can be fixed later in QGIS. So anyway, it looks like our job is done at this stage. So um, the next step will be the export. So if I click here, our route will be saved in our drive as a GPS file, which is an extension for GPS file. As you can see, the file has been downloaded. So now I can open it in QGIS. Your first thing after opening the QGIS should be downloading the project files from Mapping Tree, like I did here. So it will help you to place your trail correctly. I mean, um, do some needed fixes alterations and so on so it's really good to have this tile already in and i mean the outdoor map the tourist map from map it to remember to choose the correct one like here if you do the zoom in in QGIS, you can see the same Trails considered previously, so this is exactly the same map. But we already downloaded one of these routes, so the file has been downloaded to our Z drive. So you can do layer, open layer, add layer, and add vector layer, or you can simply just drag your file here. So the QGIS will ask you about the export. You can about the sorry, you can import all of this stuff is um, gathered here. And if you press OK, you can see that your route has been already placed in QGIS, which is great. At this moment you can switch off not necessary stuff and move out of the group the elements which you really need. Basically, you need only one of the lines which defines your GPX file. For sake of clarification, you can change the styling, make it blue as appears in the screen. Change this width in its width to 0.5, for example. And will be displayed nicely in our QGIS then. Okay? At the last approach, we can modify it slightly. But because it's the GPX file, we can't edit it really. So one of the reasonable way which we can apply here is export this dial we are going to load. Simply save it as a yeah, for example, as a geodatic format, and call it like trail or something. If you press OK, you will see overlaid line, which will be exactly the same as download from the map choose service. Now you can toggle the edit and select the vertex tool and move your vertices roughly where they should be. Like here. Okay.
And finally, you can delete the mining ones. By simply clicking the button on your keyboard. Okay, now it looks like our rail goes correctly. So the very last step will be styling. You don't need to style it again because you can just right click on your previous route and select copy style. If you copy style, you got the third of the following. You can select all the styles, but you can also select one of the styles which you was working on. Last page it was just symbology. So if we copy the symbology, you can paste the symbology here. And there you go. Your route is already done. You can double check to get it in your head everywhere which it deviates slightly from the original route. You can always toggle the vertex editor and adjust it slightly. Okay. So this is uh, pretty much how it works. So I think <clears throat> that this process is much quicker than redrawing the whole trail in PGI. The calculation by mapping that to service can um, simplify the process at least a bit. However, you will always have to change something. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Thank you for your attention.